Thank you, Madam Supervisor, and thank you for mentioning drainage districts. I'm also a drainage district nerd. I know Lucy called us a nerd. Uh, and uh, uh, thanks to Maddie and the team for another great event uh, here in Story County. Thanks for the invitation to come speak with you all for a few minutes. I really appreciate it. I'm Eric Van Lanker, and I believe we need a voter advocate running elections in our state. I've been a uh, Clinton County Auditor for four terms now, and I know what it's like on the front lines on an election day. I've run dozens of successful elections, and so that's given me a deep respect for my peers, the county auditors and their staff, for the work that they do. And thanks to uh, Story County Auditor Lucy Martin and her staff for running great elections here. And I have an undying uh, gratitude toward the folks that work our polls and do the painstaking work of counting our absentee ballots. And I know there's some of you out here who have done that. Please raise your hands who have worked those jobs. Thank you so much and God bless you for doing that. That is awesome. So look, Iowa's elections, they're neutral, they're nonpartisan, they're professional, they're efficient, and shoot, they're even friendly, <laughs> aren't they? And that's what I love about our election system in Iowa. You know, it's like a sacred commitment to me when I think about protecting our elections here in the state of Iowa. You know, I've been doing this job for 12 years and still the favorite part about doing my job is helping my neighbors vote and trusting in the outcome. Uh, but that's what I mean about being a voter advocate, right? We need a Secretary of State who has the judgment and the experience to get Iowans back to voting the way they always have. And that's why we need a county auditor as Secretary of State again. You know, but today, not everyone here in our state sees voting as that sacred right to protect. In fact, Iowa right now is home to some of the most cynical, short-sighted, partisan attempts to manipulate voter turnout anywhere in America. They know they can't call it voter fraud, so they change the laws, they work the refs, hoping that Iowans lose faith in a system that we all cherish. It's the same thing they've done to our land, our main streets, our schools. Now they're doing it to our elections. I just can't understand why they hate what Iowans have saw fit to build. Their approach is deeply wrong, but you and I are gonna fix that together. So look folks, I've been there my last 12 years as auditor, I've been to the Capitol, I've been there to support good election legislation, I've been there to fight the bad, and I've shaken my head at the ugly stuff that's come out the last couple years just like you have. But look, Here's three things we can do together when I'm your Secretary of State. First thing, we are going to fight for the right for fair access to a ballot while maintaining confidence in our electoral system. The second thing we're going to do is restore early voting. We all know that absentee voting works best for the voter and for your administrators when we have 28 days. And I remember when it was 40 days, and I'm not giving up on that, all right? And also, let's, let's restore the county auditor's ability to set up satellite voting locations. I know that's a big deal here in Story County, and it's a big deal because your county auditors, like Lucy Martin, knows best how her voters vote and want to vote, all right? And then the third thing, let's count all the votes. Halting the count of absentee ballots at the end of an election night is totally irresponsible when we have reliable barcode technology and the voter return their ballot in good faith. So look, folks, I know these things are going to take a while to turn over, but I am in this fight if you're in it with me, all right? 
I am there for you. Now let me tell you a couple reasons why I believe I can win this race, all right? First thing is, I've made a career now out of uh, winning elections in a river county that's flipped red. I, the, my last two re-elections, I was re-elected on the same ballot that Trump won in my county. I think that's a skill that Democrats across the state are interested in, <laughs> right? And look, uh, I am so proud of the list of endorsements we've already been able to build. I just added another one last week, uh, and you can view those on the cards I was handing out. But we have great endorsements from people that mean so much to me, uh, like Rita Hart and, and former U.S. Congressman Dave Loebsack. We have an endorsement from the United Rural Democrats. I have one of my favorite endorsements is from Story County Auditor Lucy Martin. Thank you so much for your support, Lucy. And also uh, eight other county auditors from across the state. Big and small counties are also endorsing this campaign, as well in addition to four other county auditors who recently retired. And we also have endorsements from other county officials from across the state who have worked with me on projects uh, throughout my years as county auditor. But, uh, and you can find all my endorsements on ericvanlanker.com. Uh, we're updating those all the time, fortunately, so uh, follow us there as well. Uh, but look, it's your endorsement, really, that I need, okay? I, so I'm gonna work hard to get your support so that I become the Democratic candidate for Secretary of State in 2022. So thank you. You can find me on Twitter at AuditorVL. You can also find me on Facebook at Vote Van Lanker. And uh, please don't forget my website, ericvanlanker.com. Um, and, and I wanna say thanks for 10 minutes. I usually get like five. And someone asked me earlier, he said, hey, please give us a bio. So if you don't mind, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself and where I come from real quick. Uh, I'm a, a lifelong Iowan. I was born and raised in Cedar Rapids. Um, after I graduated high school, uh, I moved on to the, what I call, the greatest place on the planet. Uh, some of you other folks who don't recognize that term, you'll know it as the University of Northern Iowa. Yes, Panther fans, I love it. Thank you. Um, and uh, so there I got a degree in communications, radio, TV, broadcasting, journalism. Uh, I worked in the journalism for uh, radio news for six years, did newspaper work for six years. I uh, got an opportunity to work for a nonprofit to provide uh, services to people with disabilities and did a short stint with the city of Clinton before uh, I was truly blessed uh, with the opportunity to run for county auditor. Um, so I met my wife at UNI uh, and she, she grew up in Clinton and the reason why we moved back to Clinton is because she got her dream job of being an elementary special education teacher back in her hometown. So, wait, someone wants to clap for that. Will you please clap for my wife? I saw that. Oh wait, let me, can I brag on my wife just one more thing too? Oh, that was Friday she writes, uh, just sign my contract for the next year. And she says, I also signed up to be the building rep for our teachers union. <laughs> We have two grown kids. Uh, Caitlin is uh, 24, she's a server at a uh, nice restaurant in Clinton. And my son is 21 and he is a paramedic uh, for an ambulance service in Lynn County. So yeah, so uh, really proud of those folks. So um, look, I joked about this at an event in Marion County last week, kind of joked about it. I seem to, whenever we come to these things, I see the agenda, I often find the Secretary of State race at the bottom of the agenda. <laughs> I'm assuming we're saving the best for last. <laughs> but look gang, don't sleep on this one. Right now in 2022, when we have a presidential election two years away, we need a Democratic Secretary of State who's not gonna be told how to count your vote. I'm Eric Van Lanker. 
Thank you for your time. I would really appreciate your support, and I hope to be back around and we can have more of these fun events in Story County. Thanks, everyone.